Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Another Frilici Friday. Woohoo! It's Friday. First Friday in September. It's Labor Day weekend. Uh, the sun is shining again on another fabulous Friday. End of summer, though, you guys. Oh, fall. I love fall, but I'm really not ready for summer to be over. Oh, all right. So we're just going to hope it like lasts a little while longer, right? So yeah, hopefully everybody's doing well and you had a good end of August. I've got, oh my gosh, the table is super full and I feel like I'm going to talk a million miles a minute like I always do. Hey, Philomena. Hey, Deb. Um, just to make sure that I tell you guys everything, you know, share, show you guys all this fun stuff that we have going on. So we are going to jump right in with, I want to um, kind of give you a little sneak peek of what we're going to be playing with today. I had so much fun designing these cards. So they are part of the, well, it's the Painted Christmas Suite is what I used. And I'm going to show you guys in the catalog because isn't this beautiful? Lots of gorgeous um kind of you know Christmassy wintry imagery in that bundle we are specifically playing with the Christmas season stamp set which you can see right there I um, used a ton of the stamps that are in um, this stamp set on one of the cards. I'm gonna show you guys that. Um, we also play with the designer series paper and the ribbon and then the um, dies that coordinate with the Christmas season stamp set, which those are called the seasonal labels dies. And I've already used those a couple of times because I love all the labels, but this time I used, um, and you can kind of tell, thank you, Deb, for sharing the video. Um, <clears throat> Let's see, I, it's funny because it's not quite as pronounced as it is a lot of times, but in the catalog, you'll see kind of some background white behind this guy and this guy, and then the two different pine cones. I'm trying to see, well, I guess those two, and then those leaves. Quite a few of the images in the stamp set. It's really hard for me to see it though, which is kind of weird because usually it stands out a little bit more. What I'm trying to say though, is if there's kind of some vanilla coloring or um, shading behind one of the images in the stamp set, that means that um, the seasonal labels dies will die cut those images also. So anyway, awesome stamp set, awesome set of dies. It also, um, as part of the suite, it's actually kind of a double, um, set of like stamp set and die set bundles. Um, so they also feature, and I used one of the stamps from this Christmas to Remember stamp set. This is another awesome stamp set. And then you can see the labels actually cut out a bunch of the um, sentiments in this stamp set, the labels that are part of this Christmas season bundle. So not to be confused, basically you have to get all four things. You have to get both bundles. You really need to get the Christmas season bundle which includes the Christmas season stamp set and the seasonal label dies that are on page 18 of the catalog. And then you really need the Christmas to remember stamp set and the Christmas pine cone dies, which in very small, you guys can see it gives tons of detail and then um, the pine cones that are right there also. So those dies go with that stamp set, but they really all work really, really, really well together. So that's what we're gonna be playing with. Hopefully, sometimes I just talk so much, I think I make things more confusing instead of less confusing. But it's just, I don't know, it's what, who I am and what I do, apparently. So anyway, but we will have lots of fun. It'll all make sense as we're kind of playing with things, um, too, in just a little while. So we've got that to look forward to. Hey, Susan, thanks for hanging out with me this morning, afternoon. Um, <clears throat> What else do I want to tell you guys about? Oh, I still have designer series paper shares left. I totally overbought and I still have two left. So I finally, I have them cut. I'm sorry, I'm like got an itchy. It's allergy season. You guys know, my mom used to always call it hay fever. So I have hay fever, which is like seasonal allergies. So pollen in the air. Oh my gosh, I'm sneezing. Oh, speaking of that, oh, I've, I really, <laughs> I forgot to take my allergy pill today too. So yeah, you get like that itchy, like the tickly throat. Um, I used to when I was little, like when I would sleep, you know, your eyes would get kind of um, runny in the middle of the night. And I remember one morning when I was really young in particular, that my eyes got so bad through the night that I couldn't open my eyes and I was freaking out. But obviously, 
you know, you just had to like clean your eyes off. It's like sounds, yeah, it's kind of gross, but um, yeah, but I was freaking out because I was so little. I'm like, I can't open my eyes. But anyway, so that doesn't happen anymore. Thank God. She always said, you know, maybe you'll outgrow those allergies. And I think they have lessened. I haven't outgrown them um, entirely. And actually, tomorrow is her birthday. Speaking of that, so September 4th was my mom's birthday, so we always kind of remember and celebrate her on her birthday, too. Labor Day is always like a good reminder um, of my mom. Um, so yeah, okay, so we have the Designer Series Paper Share. So I have to show you guys because look, can you guys even like see how thick this stack of paper is, right? So we have a number of pieces of six by six designer series paper and then a whole bunch of six by 12 designer series paper. I think I said before, it's like 18 packs of paper. So I'm gonna kind of flip through and you guys can kind of see um, all of the different patterns there. Oh, and then this is the silver foil. You guys have to see that because it's three different sheets. Am I gonna be able to get the third one? Where is it? There we go. So three different sheets of silver. You can, woo, it's like a mirror almost. Thank you for sharing, Susan. And then some of the Halloween paper. Can you guys see that? It's not really showing up. I'm not even showing the backside. And well, there's the backside. And then the craft paper also. Yeah, so you get that stack of six by six designer series paper. And then this whole stack of 12, six by 12 designer series paper. So let me see if I can, I'm not even gonna like say all the names because I don't know them all. Ooh, but that black glimmer paper, right? But you guys kind of get the idea, right? Like look at all of this beautiful paper that you get in the paper share. So I have two left, first two people to uh, comment right here on Facebook Live saying, I want those designer series paper shares. They are yours. I gotta get them out of my craft room. I want you guys to have them. This is a great way to get that sample of all 18 different packs of designer series paper and um, specialty paper in the holiday catalog. Plus I gave you three samples of celebration paper. Also, you pay, uh, let's see, what is it, $54 for the designer series paper. And if you need it shipped to you, um, it's an additional $9 priority mail shipping. So let me know, I've got two left. Anybody interested? They are yours, okay? All right, so we're gonna scoot that out of the way. Um, the other thing I have to tell you guys about is I'm doing my annual customer appreciation event. And I have these little postcards that I am uh, mailing out. Um, if you don't get one, um, it probably means that the post office, because they're not so great about these postcards. I know a lot of times they don't always get to everybody. So I'm gonna share it right on here too. I'm sharing it on our Facebook group and I'm emailing about it also. So everyone is invited. Um, obviously, if you're a long distance, it's kind of hard to get to. Um, but locally, or you know, if you, if you wanna make a road trip, right? It is on Wednesday, September 15th from six to 9 p.m. It is at my new location at the Peace Lutheran Church, which is right on Warwick Drive. It's 325 East Warwick Drive right here in Alma. Um, we will have snacks and drinks. I'm going to make cute little treats for everybody. We will have make and takes. I'm going to have like free giveaway drawings. You get a ticket just for coming to the um, customer appreciation event. And then if you um, shop or sign up for classes, you get more entries in the drawings. Um, I'm going to have all my retired product there again. Um, so we'll do another buy one, get one free sale so you can get retired product for free. Um, when you, whatever um, dollar value you order out of the holiday or current annual catalog, you get celebration stuff too if you spend over $50. So it's buy one, get one free and celebration stuff. It's an awesome, awesome deal. If you have a new friend you want to come um, hang out with you for the evening, um, if they're not a current customer, it's just $5 for them to come and do the make and takes and they can shop and enjoy the evening as well. So put that on your calendars, ladies. Make sure you come hang out with me, come see me, come check out fun new stuff at our customer appreciation event on Wednesday, September 15th from 6 to 9 p.m., okay? All right, um, let me make sure, I think I, said everything I wanted to about that. Yeah, just come hang out with me and play with me. It's fun, it's a fun night. It's a it's a night for me to say thank you so much for all of your support, for your business, um, for your friendship. Um, so I just love to kind of say thank you for all of that, okay? 
Um, 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 let's see, I think we are gonna jump right in. Let's do our first drawing, which is for the Playing With Patterns Resin Dots. And I can see people are already um, posting that they've shared the video. So Susan, thank you for sharing. Also, if I didn't say that already, um, your name went into this drawing right here in my little basket for the Playing With Patterns Resin Dots. If you um, shared the Facebook Live, the last Facebook Live video, or if you are new to me and signed up for my email list, your name is in the basket. We are gonna shake these babies around and we will draw for one lucky winner of the Playing With Patterns Resin Dots. Okay, here we go. Let's see. You guys, it's kind of cold too. I'm not quite ready for the super cool. You know, it was like ridiculously hot not very long ago and now like I wanna put cozy socks on. I'm not ready to wear cozy socks again. I like them, but I'm not ready to wear them yet. Okay, here we go. The lucky winner, Miss Deb Northrup. Congratulations, Deb. I think that you're watching even. So you are the lucky winner of the Playing With Patterns Resin Dots. So I will put those out on the porch for you to pick up later on today, Deb, okay? Um, all right, let's scoot these guys out of the way. I gotta get ready for the next drawing. And I will tell you guys that we are on our next Facebook Live. That's sweet, Susan. I always love to see the congratulations, you guys. That's really nice. Um, next Facebook Live. So it's not gonna be next Friday. Um, it's gonna be the following Friday. So two weeks from today on our next Facebook Live, which three plus 14. So it's gonna be September 17th will be our next Facebook Live. We will be giving away, I love these. These are like some of my favorite, these elegant faceted gems because they come in kind of a clear, a real pale pink, and then um, kind of a white actually. Uh, you're welcome, Deb. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is what we'll give away. So make sure you keep on sharing, share, share, share the video, sign up for my email list and your name will go on the drawing on our next Facebook Live to win the Elegant Faceted Gems. These are beautiful, beautiful jewels. You will love playing with these things. Okay, um, here I am, that whole like talking to Mile a minute. <laughs> and I forgot to put lotion on, so my hands are so dry. I'm like, oh, I really want to like sneak away and get some lotion. That's usually what I'm doing. Like I'm like rubbing lotion in my hands as I'm getting ready to say my hello. And I skipped it because I knew I was already like a minute late. Uh, so yeah, okay, so hopefully, yeah, you guys won't be able to tell though, I'm sure, right? I hope not. Uh, oh, okay, so now I want to welcome our newest Inkspired Stamper, Miss Maria Warren, uh, bought the awesome starter kit, um, what, just like uh, last Right, actually a week ago today she did it. Yeah, because I was kind of stressing out because I always love to, you know, say hello and congratulations and send my email and post on my Facebook group and all that. And we um, took Cade to um, college last Friday. So I knew I was gonna be out of town for a few days and like feeling bad that I wasn't able to get right on top of all that stuff. But she was very patient and which I appreciate. So yeah, so congratulations, Maria. She took advantage of our awesome, awesome, awesome starter kit deal right now, which if you guys don't know, I'll do a quick review just to make sure everybody knows what the awesome deal is. I will preface with, it is like getting $110 for free right now in the starter kit because you get to pick $125 in product, anything you want, plus you get to pick a free holiday catalog bundle, which where is my celebration brochure? <clears throat> there are 12 different bundles from the holiday catalog to choose from. Oops, is it one more? I flipped too far, there we go. Yeah, so if you happen to have the celebration brochure and you're curious, about this the easiest way um, is to look on it's on page what does that say 19 of our um, celebration brochure and below the new stamp and cotton emboss machine is the list of the 12 different bundles i'll read them off real quick in case you're interested Ooh, i feel like i might can i do this i was like I always put my glasses on my end of my nose and I think I look kind of hilarious. So I'm like gonna try to do this without my glasses. We'll see if I can do it. Um, the 12 different bundles that you can get for free in the um, starter kit right now are the Frosted Gingerbread Bundle on page 65, the Christmas Season Bundle that we are playing with in just a little bit you can get for free. That is on uh, page 66. 
the Christmas to Remember bundle on page 66, the Whimsical Trees bundle on page 67, Peaceful Deer, which is that awesome um, stamp set and punch that coordinate with the celebration, the Peaceful Prints Designer Series paper, that's on page 67, the Sweet Little Stockings bundle on page 68, Penguin Place bundle, hi Diana, good morning to you too, on page 68, the Peaceful Cabin Bundle on page 68, the Arctic Bears Bundle on page 69, the Pe Beauty of Tomorrow Bundle on page 69, the Gorgeous Leaves Bundle on page 70, or Nature's Harvest Bundle on page 71. So any one of those 12 bundles you can get for free, plus your $125 in product, and you pay only $99 plus sales tax. So it is such an awesome deal. You have the whole rest of the month of September to think about it. Um, ask me any questions that you have about the starter kit. There is no, there's no catch, basically. You get the awesome deal, and then you get 20% off of all of your future orders, which like that is another awesome perk of becoming a demonstrator or not even, I hate to even use the word demonstrator. That's just like a term, right? You don't have to demonstrate anything. Most people and they're like, oh, I'm just a hobbyist. Like, no, you're not just anything. You are an awesome, amazing crafter, right? You just uh, like got smart and decided you wanted to get uh, a discount on everything that you're ordering, right? So yeah, so do that. Buy the starter kit, use your discount to get all your products um, at 20% off, at least. If once you get to Bronze Elite, you can get 25% off of everything. It's basically like a 20% or 25% discount off of everything that you order. So you are being smart by getting that starter kit and then um, using your discount to get um, future products. Plus, you become an Inspired Stamper and you become a part of our team as well. We have an awesome group of ladies, really from not just locally here too. We've got long distance members too that are able to um, stay active and involved on our Facebook group and in our meetings and in our swapping and in our creative and business challenges. So there's lots of good stuff for people. Even if you're not local, we um, include everybody in those too. So yes, good, good deal. Good, fun, um, group to be a part of too. So um, the other thing I want to say about Maria is she actually, she, like I said, she was so smart. She got the starter kit, right? And then she has already taken advantage of her 20% discount and put her first order in. And she has actually even reached already her first $300 quarterly minimum. So that's the, I don't even want to call that a catch because if you don't meet a $300 quarterly minimum, um, basically your demonstrator ID just drops, but nothing else happens. So I'll give you the example in Maria's case. She bought the starter kit at the end of August. So she, they don't count the partial quarter that you start in. So August and September, that's like the end of the third quarter and then October, November, December. So she had technically until December 31st to put um, a minimum of $300 in orders in and then she essentially renews her demonstrator status for another three months. So then she's got January, February, and March when she can um, order again. Now, obviously it's not limited to $300, but that's the minimum, but you've got like, what is that? September, October, November, December. You've got like four months to put $300 in orders in. And we all know that is pretty darn easy to do these days, right? There's just so much good stuff to be had um, in these catalogs. Plus, we will be getting another, We I feel like we've just started with the holiday catalog, right? But at the end of this year, we'll get the new January to June mini, like the spring catalog will be coming out also. So, um, yeah, so congratulations, Maria, on getting the starter kit for meeting your first $300 quarterly minimum. Plus, the other awesome thing about that is, um, again, in the celebration brochure, when you um, put an order in of at least $300, which is, I'm sure, why she put that order in, right? She will get the In Your Words stamp set for free. It's basically an additional, like, host item during celebration that they're giving away to everybody. So I'll show you that. So right here on, what is this? On page 17 of the celebration brochure, you can see um, they've got the little chart here, depending on um, how much you put in an order, starting at $150, you get 10% in free host benefits. And then if you jump down a little bit, when you put um, $300 in orders in, you get 12% of 300. So that's $36 in free product, anything that you want, plus this awesome in your words stamp set. And I'm gonna read, cause I think these, 
No, I'm not. That those are too small. <laughs> I was gonna say the the sentiments are kind of um, they're very fun. Um, I was trying to see. Yes. So this is kind of fun. I thought that this was when they said in your words. So it, they said when creating the in your words stamp set, we went to the experts, our demonstrators, to help us gather a collection of the most sought after sentiments. This set is brimming with the crowd pleasing greetings that are simply fantabulistic. <laughs> That's very cute. Actually, they did use that word fantabulistic. Super cute. So yeah, fun stamp set. Basically, um, the sentiments were, um, you know, suggested by demonstrators. So that's kind of fun too. So yes, so with a $300 order, um, yes, you get the $36 in free host benefits plus the In Your Word stamp set. Plus, I keep, I almost forgot to mention, $300 order means you got six free celebration items too, right? Because for every $50 um, in sales, or orders, you get a oh, celebration item. So six free celebration items too. So that is what I would kind of call that sweet spot. Um, so if you're thinking about putting an order in, especially, you know, get that starter kit, put your first order in, um, $300 gets you all kinds of free stuff um, and qualifies you for that in, in your word stamp set too. So super awesome deal, super smart on Maria's part. She already met her $300 quarterly minimum too. So congratulations and welcome Maria to our Inkspired Stampers group. Very happy to have you joining us. So yeah, and if anybody else is interested in that starter kit, just let me know if you have any questions at all, okay? All right, I have lots of scribbles here. I think I've done a pretty good job. I'm trying to, where am I at? <laughs> okay, yep, I'm doing a good job. Okay, all right, so what do I wanna show you guys next? We are, so, Hey, if you, um, yeah, we'll talk about this. If you put an online order in of at least $30, anytime between our last Facebook Live and Wednesday at midnight, you automatically are receiving these two cards that I made with that Delicate Dahlia stamp set on our last Facebook Live, right? So these are my thank you to you with your $30 order. Your name is also in the drawing right now to win the Counting Sheep stamp set. And if you bumped your order up to $50, which pretty much everybody did because it's celebration, right? So you get a free celebration choice too. You also get to pick from, where is that stuff? I'm, oh, right. <laughs> it's normally over here and it's actually right in front of my face and I'm like freaking out because I'm like, I don't know where it is. But with your $50 order, in addition to your celebration choice, you get to pick from, and actually these were the August free embellishment. I have a new free embellishment for September. Um, I think I'm doing the, um, oh my gosh, my mind is like blanking out on me. They're, they're like a brushed metallic dot, I think they're called. Yeah, brushed metallic adhesive backed dots. They're on page 55, yeah. Oh, well, so they just show you like the three of them. You get a whole bunch of them in the pack, but this is what we're gonna give away as a free embellishment. With your $50 order in September, you can pick from either those or the September Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial. This is that awesome 16 project tutorial in color with uh, pictures and directions, everything you need to know on how to create some super cute projects, 16 of them featuring lots of new celebration and holiday catalog product. I'll show you, this was my card using that Delicate Dahlia stamp set. Again, I kind of went for a fall theme, right? I'm like, I'm kind of ready, depends on my mood, right? And this is kind of one of those fun, like you just um, put the backing on it and then the card flips up like this. So this is my project that is in the Download Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, yours free with a $50 order right now, or you can pick the free embellishment too, plus celebration choice also. So, ah, uh, yes, you got your Dahlia stamp set this week. So, uh, Susan, we would love to see what you have made or when, when you do make something with your Delicate Dahlia stamp set, we would love to see what you make also. All right, I'm gonna scoot those out of the way and let's see. So I think we can do our drawing now for the Counting Sheep stamp set. Right? I'm like, where are my notes? 
Apparently I'm like extra flaky today. <laughs> okay, but yes, yeah, so yeah, your name is in the basket now if you put an online order in of at least $30. Yes, yeah, so hopefully this weekend you can stamp. I know a lot of people are hoping to do that. Maria was saying she's getting her starter kit and her first order um, before like, I guess today maybe. So, or maybe she already got the starter kit. Anyway, I don't know because she just ordered it Friday. It takes like a week around here. So yeah, but she said, yeah. So maybe they're both coming today. I don't know, but she's gonna have lots of fun this weekend with all of her new stuff. So, okay, here we go. We are drawing for the Counting Sheep stamp set. And let's see, the lucky winner is Miss Kay Jacoby. All right, congratulations, Kay. You will be receiving that Counting Sheep stamp set. I will get that sent out to you along with the cards from last Facebook Live. Scooting that stuff out of the way. I want to show you guys. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so we are going to give away because I absolutely love this stamp set on our next Facebook Live. You guys are all so cute. All your thumbs up and, and hearts. Very, very sweet. We are going to give away. One, this is my favorite stamp set in the Celebration brochure, right? We played with it on our last Facebook Live. So again, I'll show you guys. Oopsie. Both of those cards that we made, right? So you could create these cards also if you win the Delicate Dahlia stamp set. So free, you can get this free with just a $30 order. We have a new host code for September. It's already on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Um, if you go to gatheringinspiration.com on the right-hand side toolbar on your computer, this is what I'm learning. Um, I think you, you know what I like to do? in some cases, because it looks so different on your phone. If you scroll down to the bottom, so if you go to gatheringinspiration.com on your phone, scroll down to the bottom, and there's usually a little thing that says like view web version, which basically means you're gonna see the same version that you would if you were on your computer or your laptop. Because I always am like talking about like my toolbars and things, and they don't show up the same way um, on your phone. But if you do that, go down to the bottom, click on the view the web, web, W-E-B, web version, then on that right-hand side toolbar, that's where you'll find um, the host code. I always include it in the details to this Facebook Live video also. But yeah, so this is what we're going to give away on our next Facebook Live is the Delicate Dahlia stamp set. You'll get the projects I demonstrate in just a little bit with a $30 order and your name will go in the drawing to win the stamp set, the Delicate Dahlia stamp set. Okay. All right. We are cruising right along. I'm doing really well. I know I have more things I want to show you guys. I'm just trying to make sure because I think I'm gonna get a quick sip of water too. Let me step up here and do that and review. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I think we're good. We have one more super fun thing to do. So you guys know, like all summer long, and that's where I'm like, oh, summer, it's August is done, right? So all summer long, I've been talking about the super summer giveaway drawing that I was gonna do in September. And I'm gonna do it right here, right now on our Facebook Live, okay? So I wanna review really quickly how you got your name in the drawing. And I've been doing this um, super summer giveaway drawing for the past, I don't know how many summers. So. You can count on very likely next summer I'll be doing this as well. So be watching. You guys will see there are a ton of entries in here. This is how you got your name entered into the drawing, okay? You get one ticket for each event that you attended, and that included participating in the class to go. Any of the options that you got, your name is in the drawing if you participated in June, July, or August. Also, if you came to an event, June, July, or August, I gave you tokens when you came to the event, and occasionally I forgot to bring them, but I would always come back home and write your name on a token and put it in my little bag also, okay? You get two tokens for every $50 that you spend. So that's locally and online, and that class to go option number one was always more than $50, so you also got two entries into the drawing. Another great way you can get entries into the drawing is posting a picture of a project you've made right here to our Facebook group using that hashtag super summer giveaway when you post your project. You got two entries in the drawing for every single post that you made to our Facebook group. Okay, if you brought a new guest to class, you also got two entries into the drawing. If you joined um, a club, which includes the Simple Beautiful Card Club, the Scrapbook Club, Paper Pumpkin, and In Color Club, you got three entries into the drawing. If you bought the starter kit, you got five entries into the drawing. And if you held your own private party or class, you got another five entries into the drawing. 
So, okay, let me see if I can kind of show you. I've got my cute little, this was a little bag that they gave us on our Greek island cruise. You can kind of see like the little Greek villas, right? So we've, oops, that's all. I, I don't want to dump them out, but I want you guys to kind of see. Can you kind of see if I hold this up? You kind of see, right? Oh, yeah, that's what I was trying to avoid. Okay, so you guys see how many entries are in here, right? So we have tons and tons of names. I have these cute little, the punch, um, one of the label punches. Um, so yeah, there are tons and tons of entries in here. And I'm going to grab my stack of stuff and we will start doing these drawings. I'm going to cut, maybe I'll just go right in order of my list here too, so I don't get confused because apparently I'm very easily confused today. Okay, so we are first going to give away, which one are we gonna do first? This is it, the Peppermint, the Gingerbread and Peppermint Designer Series Paper. We're gonna give away this full pack of Designer Series Paper. Okay, so I'm shaking these all around. I'm like shaking the table, I feel like. Okay, so the, here's my little bag, right? Shaking them all around. And I have to like hold it on the table though because there's so many in here. Okay, I'm gonna draw one token or ticket out. I think I have just one. I'm always so afraid I have more than one in my hand, but I have just one. And it is Miss Denise Ledbetter. You guys are probably gonna be able to see. I used all of our in colors. So Denise is the winner of the Gingerbread and Peppermint Designer Series paper. Okay, so I'm gonna just set those right aside and I will either ship these out to you or if you're local, I will put them out on the porch this afternoon. Okay, next, my favorite. Uh-oh, I'm gonna sneeze, I think. Yep, <gasps> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me, yes. Okay, there, my allergies. And it's usually not just one, <laughs> like all blinky. Okay, let's see if I can like hold it back. Okay, my most favorite ribbon, the black and white gingham ribbon. We will draw for that one next. Yes, you guys are so sweet. So Susan and Philomena, your names are both in here too. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that, Susan. Okay, um, yeah, it was so fun to write everybody's. I went through every month at the end of the month. So at the end of June, at the end of July, and just at the end of August, I went through and like with that list, put everybody's names in the drawing. So, okay, next winner is Miss Lori Cresswell wins the black and white gingham ribbon. Okay, just keep plugging along here. We have lots of fun prizes to give away. Next, <clears throat> we're gonna give away the sparkly, that bee dazzling, spar oops, sparkly designer series paper. Okay, shaking them up again. And let's see, we have one lucky winner. Who is it gonna be? Oops, I have two in my hand. Oh, okay, All right now I have one. Uh, Miss Amy Jo Shelton. All right, congratulations, Amy Jo. I will put that out on the porch for you as well. Okay, next. Ooh, I haven't played with these yet, but I am dying to. They're on my craft table. I just have to find a fun project. These are the, the matte decorative dots. They go with um, the stocking uh, stamp set. I can't remember what it's called right now, but sweet stockings maybe? Yeah, but they, well, they look like candy too, right? Like that old fashioned candy, but they're kind of an ombre. No, maybe they're not. Yeah, they are. Some of them are a little bit darker and some of them are a little bit lighter. Okay, I'm like obsessed with like shaking these all around. I want everyone to win, but that's not going to be possible. Oh, okay, Miss Naughty Hartman. All right, congratulations, Naughty. You are the proud new winner owner of those matte decorative dots. Next we have, this is the Nature's Harvest stamp set. This is a, a gorgeous, a, a, be a beautiful, gorgeous stamp set is what I was going to try to say there. I'm going to read you these sentiments because I like these a lot too. So we've got Sending healing thoughts. May nature's beauty bring peace to your soul. That's a nice sentiment, right? There's a thank you, a good luck, and a reminder to never forget how much you mean to me and so many others. So beautiful sentiments and the beautiful imagery. I know this has been a super popular stamp set. Okay, so one lucky winner we have. Okay, I have like 15 in my hand. Whittle it down to one, Amy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I almost lost everything. Okay, there we go. We have Miss Teresa Hinchman. All right, congratulations, Teresa. I will get that stamp set sent out to you. Next, what do we have? Oh, yes, the 
Peaceful Prince Designer Series paper. Oh, I was thinking maybe it was on back order, Susan. So yeah, that's awesome that um, Teresa got that with it being on back order. Okay, so next we're gonna give away the Peaceful Prince Designer Series paper. And this one goes to one lucky winner, Miss Judy Cocarro. I always wanna like trill her R's. So Judy, congratulations, you have just won the Peaceful Prince Designer Series paper. Okay, we have a couple more to go. My Another favorite, you guys know I love. Oh, now you have to wait. Oh, that's a bummer. Hopefully not too long, Susan. Yeah, I think I did see that that was a super popular one, so. Soon enough, though, right? Soon enough, they'll have that one made. At least Stampin' Up! makes those. That's better than having it shipped from overseas, right? So hopefully it won't take quite as long for them to um, get that made for you. Okay, so next we have the blue adhesive backed gems. That's what we'll give away next. So let's see who our lucky winner will be. Oh my gosh, I'm like tossing them all around. Okay, here we go. One name. Oh, Deb Fleming Dittenberg is the winner of the blue faceted gems, or the, yeah, the blue adhesive back gems, whatever those are called. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, what do we have? Oh, next is the evergreen embossing folder. This is beautiful. I did that on um, white cardstock and it's just so soft. Um, and just the texture, but it looks, it's like a, you know, like a beautiful, like snowy white. Um, scene. <laughs> woot woot, she says. Cute. Miss Kathy Hilliard is the winner of the Evergreen Forest embossing folder. All right, I will get that one sent out to you, Miss Kathy. Next, we have the Feels Like Home. This is one of those celebration stamp sets that's been super popular also. Great sentiments in here. We've got, I can't thank you enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Your friendship feels like home to me. I'm always and forever here for you and missing you. So beautiful sentiments in there also. Okay, shaking these around. Oh my goodness. I want everybody, I know I said that before. I always want everybody to win. It's like at bingo, I'm always stressed out. <laughs> oh, Susan, I'd love to see what you've made with this stamp set too. It's kind of intimidating for me because I think I have to color and I'm really, I don't think I'm a good colorer. Okay. The winner, <laughs> Miss Deb Northrup. Congratulations, Deb. You, and she has said to me, I never win anything, but she's won two. Oh my goodness. Go, Miss Deb. I think, right? Or maybe not. Maybe, oh, she, she won a, oh yeah, that was on the other drawing. Okay, I'm like, because I'm looking around like, I don't see her name there, but that's what it was. Okay, and then last, and I need to grab my catalog, which is buried. Where did it go? Because I just um, ordered, and I don't have it yet, but as soon as I get it in, I will send it to you. I ordered the Strong of Heart stamp set to be given away also. And this is an awesome stamp set. This is one of those um, making a different stamp set. Let's see what Susan say. She colored hers in basic gray. Ah, and then just colored the door red. Yeah, that would probably be really striking. So she's talking about this feels like home. We would love to see it too. So Susan is saying she colored everything kind of in a basic gray and then the door she did in red and that really would pop nicely, I'm sure. So yes, uh, yeah, we would love to see that, Susan. That would be awesome. Okay, yeah, and then Deb will know how she, what have an idea for her new stamp set too. And you're welcome, Deb. Okay, so yeah, back to, this is the Make a Different stamp set. So the cool thing about this stamp set is um, it says, join us in making a difference. For each Strong of Heart stamp set purchase, we will donate $3 support to support heart health. So that's a great, they always, every single catalog, we have some kind of um, give back that we do. And that is the stamp set this time, is the Strong of Heart stamp set. Um, and they've got some great sentiments in here too, like, here for you, you amaze me stronger than you know and through struggle comes strength that one's a good one too isn't it so that stamp set we will give away like i said it will be coming in shortly last one to give away here strong of heart stamp set goes to oh i'm like shaking them all up okay let's see who is the lucky winner okay 
I'm reading Deb's that. She says, that would look sharp. It would look sharp, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Deb, look at you. You are the lucky winner. She's put lots of orders in and come to lots of classes and events. So, all right, Miss Deb, I will have that stamp set for you as soon as it comes in, the Strong of Heart stamp set. All right. So thank you everyone for uh, participating in the Super Summer Giveaway. I have so appreciated. Deb did lots of sharing and posting on our Facebook group of projects that she's made as well. So she got two entries into the drawing for every single um, project that she uh, posted to our Facebook group. So continue to share. You never know. I might do like a random um, giveaway on a Facebook Live at some point um, with just, you know, anybody that shares. I'll just say, hey, anybody that shares, um, I might be like, Putting your names in a drawing and I won't even maybe tell you I'll just kind of decide to do it at some point so I'd love to encourage lots more sharing on our Facebook group because um, it's so fun to see what you guys are up to and it helps um, uh, encourage other people to get their stamps and ink and paper out and kind of maybe gets their wheels turning on things that they could make as well so thank you everybody for um, your support again of my Stampin' Up! business I truly would not be here without each and every single one of you so thank you very much all right, I think we are ready. Are we, oops, <laughs> I just threw that bag on the chair and I was like, oh my gosh, if all those other tokens fall out. But I think we're all right. So, um, okay, I'm gonna sneeze again, I can feel it. Okay, I'm gonna try to like make it stop. <laughs> okay, I think we are ready to turn our, turn, you turn your heads away. I'm gonna try not to sneeze and we're gonna flip the camera down right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And maybe I'll grab a Kleenex too. We'll see. Okay. So yeah, I've got some more some fun, some more fun stuff to show you guys. Um, so here, let's actually there. Okay, now I'm organized. Okay, turn your heads away, fly them through the air, and we'll flip the camera down. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna be all sniffly now. I forget. Every year it sneaks up on me too. I don't know if that does that to other people. I'm always like, oh yeah, that's right. It's allergy season. Okay, so here is our host code. I'm gonna scoot that over so I know I'm in view. This is our September host code, the QPYJB6NZ. It's on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and it'll be above this Facebook Live video after we get it posted. Okay, so real quick, real quick, I'm gonna grab a sip of water actually. Mm. Okay, and then... Here we go, scrapbook pages. I just have to show you guys. We made these the other night at scrapbook class. Uh, <laughs> yes, you're welcome, Deb. <laughs> so you're finally a winner. I know you said that you don't ever win anything, but you definitely won today. So congratulations, Miss Deb. Okay, so these are two pages that we made at scrapbook class featuring the Penguin Designer Series paper, the free celebration paper. And then they also finger the uh, feature the little um, penguin bundle as well. So love that paper, had so much fun playing with this, right? And then we also used some of the um, in-color jewels too. And then, oh, I love that ribbon also. It's the most wonderful time of year, right? And then more of the penguin paper there. So I had to share those little pages with you guys because I think... Um, that designer series paper is just so cute and make sure you get it while you still can right we have until the end of september or while supplies last i'm trying to think of i think it was the other the the deer the peaceful prince designer series paper went kind of on back order I think, maybe it's on back order right now, I'm trying to remember. Um, but so at some point these things could sell out. So just keep that in mind, get your um, celebration items early rather than later. Don't wait until the very end of September because just in case something um, sells out, you don't want to miss out on anything, okay? All right, um, what else do I want to show you guys? Oh, where are my, so I have swaps. And um, yeah, I've got swaps and other ideas to show you guys. So I know on last Facebook Live, I showed you all of my um, celebration swaps. This time I'm gonna show you all of my um, holiday catalog swaps. And I'll start with the card that I made for this swap. So I made 16 of these cards. This may this be a Christmas to remember and cherish, right? And then it's got that fun, little opening there, right? So this was the swap card that I made, and in return, I got 16 brand new cards that I'm gonna show you guys right now. Okay, 
So we'll just kind of flip through these. I don't know the names of half of stamp sets or anything in here, but we are gonna do our best. <laughs> no, I probably won't even, I'm just gonna show you the cards and tell you who made them, because I think this one's super cute. But if you can imagine, she colored all of that, right? On 16 different projects. So that was a lot of work for Mary Ann Grimmer from North Carolina, okay? That one's cute though, right? I love that pretty little dress too. Okay, here's a fun little Merry Christmas, right? Very beautiful, beautiful. This one is Judy Garza. I'm just gonna kind of set those out here. This is kind of a nice fall one, right? Gratitude, the feeling in my heart when I think about you. That one's cute too, isn't it? This one is by Laura Borchette. Ah, oh, this one's pretty too. This one features um, the stamp set that we are gonna be using on our make and takes, or our, um, yeah, the projects that I'm gonna make for you. <laughs> Deb Snyder designed that card. And then we have another one. This is more of that Christmas season stamp set that we're gonna be playing with in just a little bit. This one is Cara Paisant. And this one's super pretty too, that kind of gray and white designer series paper. Ah, oh, and I haven't, I don't have that die set yet, but isn't that beautiful, right? This one was by Rhonda, yep, Rhonda Bassler at that one and this one's super pretty too isn't it with that little angel right and that designer series paper works really really well with that as well that's by karen titus oh here's a fun little gingerbread one they're beautiful aren't they susan lots and lots of good ideas this one is by lynn streifert love that one too with that fun designer series paper right here's another this one, I think, was um, a swap, actually, at our meeting, if I remember correctly. I'm trying to remember who made this one. Maybe Charlene Mogg um, brought this one to our Inspired Stampers meeting. I guess it got they got a little bit mixed up, um, but I love this one, too. May the love of the season warm your home and fill your heart. That's very pretty, huh? Ooh, and then we have a Halloween one, right? My tail says it's the Twitching Hour. That one's cute by Marcia Gay. And... <clears throat> then we have, oh, here's the stamp set that Deb won too. Or no, Teresa won that one, right? This is the one that's on back order. The sending healing thoughts, may nature's beauty bring peace to your soul. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that like kind of color, the tone on tone. This one is Karen Braxton. Mm. And here's the new um, stamp set that I just ordered that Deb Northrup won. Through Struggle Comes Strength, and then that pretty um, heart there also. This one is Mary Ellen Stites. <coughs> okay, we've got some fall. I love this whole suite here, right? If friends were pumpkins, I'd pick you. That's cute, huh? Laura Barto did that one. Oh my gosh, look at all these beautiful cards. So thankful for you with more of the... So this is actually some of the Beauty of Friendship designer series paper from the annual catalog and then some of our new um, leaves. Oh, there are those brushed metallic dots. Those That's the free embellishment that I'm going to give away with a $50 order in um, September. This one is Ruth Bingle. Got a couple more. And then we've got this Season's Greetings with the pretty blue. That's a really pretty color combination. This one is Angie Leach. <clears throat> and then lastly, this was Miss Nancy Gulick designed this card and dropped them off on my porch. I think she had some extra cards and they were both so pretty. She did kind of some different layering, right? This one, she didn't put anything behind the pumpkin, but this one she did. And then we've got some different layering on these as well. And they are all so beautiful, aren't they? And then this one I think got mixed up. Um, this I feel like is a little more celebration with the penguins, but I don't think I showed you that one last time. It was in my other um, bag with all of these cards. So I thought I'd show you that one too. So beautiful, see? So if you get the opportunity to participate in a swap, obviously you can see it's a great way <coughs> excuse me, to get lots and lots of ideas from others, which I love, 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 love to do that. And then I can share them all with you and then they're great inspiration for me too. <coughs> okay. Mm. My water, I just can't stop. I think I need like a peppermint. I feel like it's winter time and my throat's super dry. Mm. And I'm gonna have to pee soon too, ladies. <laughs> It's all around going to be a big problem, I think. Okay, so I want to do a quick reminder because we have our beauty of the earth. I'm trying to find all my stuff here. 
the Beauty of the Earth class to go. Today is the last day to RSVP for this class. Oops, I've got some kind of a sticky here. Oh yeah, show how that card opens. <laughs> I don't think I ever showed that, so I wanted to show that. But these are the four projects that you can make in the Beauty of the Earth class to go. There are the four different options. Option number one gives you everything. You get the bundle, you get the quarter pack of the designer series paper, you get the brushed metallic dots, love those dots. You get this uh, cherry cobbler and gold ribbon and you get a free celebration choice in option number one. That one is $91. Option number two is if you already have the Beauty of Friendship bundle, you get the designer series paper, you get the dots and you get the ribbon. Option number two is $34. And then the PDF, option number three is always $15. And then finally, option number four is the make and takes for my Inkspired Stampers. Those are just $12, okay? So again, RSVPs are due today. I'll flip through these cards real quick and show them to you one more time. If anybody is interested, let me know if you want to get one of these to-go kits um, or if you have any questions, okay? All right, so here's card number one. We've got the Thinking of You. Beautiful, love, huh? And that sparkly pretty paper. This is the one, I think it opens a little bit different, right? Is this, yeah, oh yeah, this one that goes that way. I was trying to flip it up, but I love that, that idea where you just kind of use this a quarter of a sheet of cardstock on the back and then you flip it open um, on the next layer, right? And then there's a thank you too. Okay, so those are the four projects in the Beauty of the Earth class to go. Let me know if you're interested. I am going to be ordering today to get everything ready for those kits to be shipped out to you. Okay. All right, you guys, I think, <laughs> did I finally do it? Yeah. Okay. All right. That wasn't too bad. Um, we're going to do some stamping now. Are you guys ready? Probably more than ready, huh? Okay. I'm going to grab my grid paper. Scoot this host code up. Let's make sure we are in view. Thank you, Susan. I love it too. I was ready for fall. You know, I keep kind of saying that. I really was when I designed those cards. I didn't know if I was going to be, to be very honest with you. So it took me a while to kind of get that one together. Okay, so here is our first project featuring, again, this Christmas season stamp set. So you can see a bunch of the images in here we stamped on there. Okay, now to actually stamp this again for you guys, right? <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. Okay, so we use a bunch of ink pad colors. I'm gonna just kinda spread these out right here so we are ready to go. Let me actually tell you guys. Oh, you know what I, maybe I'll show you that next. Okay, I'm gonna put that right in there so I don't forget to show you that. Sorry, kind of talking to myself here. Oops, one of my stamps like stuck to the back of a, um, Stamp set, one of these photopolymers. You know, they're a little sticky. That one I just threw off the table. That works well, too. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Okay, so where'd that one go? Here we are. All right, all right, all right. I probably shouldn't have stacked all that up on there because I want to show you guys the size. We're in view still, right? Okay. You know what I'm going to do just to help myself out a little bit? I'm going to put these on top of. <laughs> the colors so I know, let's see, those are the lighter ones, right? I will explain all of this in a moment. There we go. And the real red, oh, I see, I used it over here too, didn't I? Yeah, okay, and the other one, okay. There, now I have everything, okay. Okay, 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 right, ready? So here we go, there's my little cheat sheet. We have a piece of garden green cardstock, right? So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, right? And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make a tall card like that, okay? Next, we have a piece, a layer of real, maybe I'm done with Facebook Live. Not quite yet, kiddo. Okay, this one measures four and one eighth by five and three eighths, and that is that layer right there. And then I have another piece of Whisper White that measures five and a quarter by four inches. And then I thought I actually stamped on the inside. I don't know if I, oh, I did, yep, okay, here we go. So on the inside, another piece of four by five and a quarter to go on the inside of there too, okay? 
All right, so now we are gonna do our stamping. Actually, I do have these little strips. This is just a half inch wide strip that we're gonna just lay across there and then I'm gonna snip it. Um, these were basically like extra little pieces that I had from my bee dazzling specialty paper from Celebration, okay? All right, and then I've got um, scrap paper to stamp my um, pine cones on too. Okay, all right, here we go, ladies. Let's see what we can do here. One of those already too. I've already stamped and die cut, so I'll show you one. Right, I've got that one. You know what? I've got two of them, so I'll show you the big one. I'll show you how I made them because they're really easy to do too. But then that'll kind of cut down a little bit on our die cutting and so on. Okay, so we are going to stamp on this baby first. Let's see if I have my other little piece. Nope, I don't see it. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. You know what, we'll do this one first though because then we can get this one out of the way. Okay, so there are two different stamps and actually it might even be easier to show you guys on the stamp set. So I stamped the first one in crumb cake and the one over top with a little bit less um, stamp, I guess, in early espresso. Same thing for the small one. Crumb cake on this one and then early espresso on that one. And that's how this was created. Crumb cake first and then early espresso over the top. So we'll do that same thing with the large pine cone so you can see that one too, okay? So we'll scoop those back out of the way. We don't need those right now. Okay, so we've got our crumb cake ink. So simple, simple, nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. Don't push too hard. You don't need ink all over the place, right? There's our crumb cake. And then we've got our early espresso ink right here. And don't worry too much. You just kind of eyeball it. They don't have to be perfect, you know? In nature, right, things aren't made perfectly. They're all a little bit different. Okay, so that is basically all we do there. And it's funny how they lighten up. Like even that crumb cake looks a lot lighter once it kind of dries a little bit more. So we'll die cut that in just a little bit. We're gonna do our stamping now for the rest of our card here. Okay, so how did I start this? I think I actually started with, you know what I wanna do? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do, we're gonna die cut this label because it kind of was helpful to me to have this label on here and then kind of work out from there. So let's do that too. We're gonna actually stamp this little happy holidays and I will show you where this came from. In just a moment, we're gonna stamp that one right there. Love that, love that font too. Okay, so that stamp actually came from this Poinsettia Petals stamp set. This is one that's in our annual catalog. So there's the little Happy Holidays right there. This is a beautiful stamp set that we actually, um, it came out in last year's holiday catalog and then carried over into our annual catalog. Okay, so let's do our die cutting on these things. And that'll, like I said, it'll help me line up where to begin the stamping. Because I'll show you what happened on my first attempt in just a sec. <clears throat> okay, so we have, these are the Tasteful, Tasteful Labels, yep, Tasteful Labels dies. We're gonna use this baby. There, you can see them all. We're gonna use that one right on there. And and our larger pine cone die. So these are the seasonal labels dies, which these are some other dies that we're gonna use. Actually, that's the other pine cone. We're not gonna do that one because I already have an extra one, um, but we're gonna use these on our next project. So these are some of the labels. I'll show you the rest when we go to do our next project too. Okay, but that's an awesome set of dies. Love all the labels and then they give you all these all of the images that coordinate with the stamp set too. So it's a really fully packed set of dies, I would say. Okay, so let's get these. Let's get these right off of here. Let me get this guy out of the way. Okay. Ooh, that's in there pretty well. There we go. That one. All right, so my whole point was I want to kind of lay that on there because 
Here's my example. This is the one I started to stamp, and then when I went to lay that down, you couldn't even see any of the berries, right? So I don't wanna do this again. I wanna make this one this time, right? Okay, so we are gonna start with our berries and kind of work our way out from there. And I kind of thought this little, this was like a little extra one to me. So I kind of want that one maybe to be covered up. So we've got those there. I've already got, I can feel my red ink on there. Okay, I'm gonna wipe that off. So we've got that one there, and then we're gonna do that one right about there. So then that, see, they'll just kind of peek out a little bit from behind there, okay? So there's that, and then we kind of work out from there. Next, we are gonna use our garden green ink, and we're gonna do our leaves, kind of beyond our berries, right? So we've got one set there, and kind of one set right there, okay? Next, we are gonna use the other leaves with, this is soft succulent ink. Always that nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Sorry, is that even in view? Let's see. Put one in between there. And do one there. Okay, we're gonna do one in between there. And then we're gonna do one over there. All right, I think that looks pretty similar so far, right? I think I'm doing all right. They never look exactly the same, but that's okay. Again, it's handmade. This time I have pear pizzazz ink and these little dots. And I'm gonna stamp these. I'm gonna stamp off a little bit because I don't want them too dark. Just kind of putting those around there a little bit. We'll go around that one. That one, and there we go. So I think we are good for our stamping. <coughs> Next, we are going to adhere this little strip of that bedazzling paper. I just wanna kind of run that right through about like that, okay? Then I'm just gonna flip it over and I'm gonna cut. It was easier for me to just, this is a full like six by half inch strip, half inch by six inch strip, and then just cut those little babies off, okay? Now we can start putting our card together. And I'm still, I think, doing a pretty good job. Sometimes I forget about that little tipping back <coughs> on there. But I've definitely improved. I haven't had to advance my seal nearly as much as I used to. So this has just a little bit of red kind of peeking out from the edges. I feel like I want a little bit more on that right-hand side. There we go. Okay. Got that one, now we are gonna add this one to our card base. I'm gonna do a little bit more in that corner. Okay, card base, it's like hiding, but there it is, okay. Good, oh, that moved, didn't it? That's all right, still looks pretty good. Mm, I think I want that one on top though. That really did move. Huh, I wonder if I'll be able to get that off. <laughs> okay, this could be it. We're just going to call it good enough, this one, okay? That's all right. Handmade. You won't even notice it. You barely do because there's so much else going on, too. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive on either side there. And next, we are going to add some of our linen thread. Just kind of loop it around. It's pretty curly, especially at the end here. So I'm going to straighten it out a little bit. But I kind of like the curl to it also. That looks like the end of something there. We'll trim that off. There's a little knot. <coughs> okay, so we are going to just... Oops, I do have it, don't I? Okay. 
So I like to just kind of add that little bit of adhesive and then kind of loop and tack it. And again, they never look quite, no two ever loop and tack quite the same, but that's all right. There we go. You guys kind of get the idea, right? That and that. Now we're gonna put some dimensionals behind our sentiment. And I did a few of them because there's a lot going on on this card and I want to make sure. And actually, before I do this, I really need to add my pine cones. I'm almost forgetting those. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna put some adhesive on the back of these. <coughs> okay, so we're gonna put Maybe one there, and I'm not going to press super hard in case I want to move any of them. But this is kind of what I'm looking at. And then if we put this right there, yeah, I think that looks good, right? So we've got our linen thread kind of hanging out from back there. So last step now is to add some of our gilded gems. Isn't it so pretty? Thank you guys, I know. So it's the stamp set, really. It's just beautiful. You can create, really, your own designer series paper, I think, with this stamp set. So I'm gonna put one gem there and I'm gonna do a little bit larger one. This might have been a couple of packs, or maybe, I don't know if I, I'm gonna put one maybe over here this time. There's not quite as much room there. So it's just kind of fun to add a little sparkle in there too. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do? Let's do on the inside. We're gonna stamp. I just stamped this little baby kind of right on the corner there of that one. So let's stamp that one and add that one into on the inside of our card, I guess I should say. Oh, I'm missing some comments. I'm so like intent on what I'm doing. I have to go back and read. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are enjoying. I think that's what I'm getting is that you're enjoying this stamp set. So then that went on the inside. So there we go, ladies. Isn't that beautiful? It is beautiful, isn't it? So again, it's that Christmas season stamp set. All of these images are what we use to create all of the beautiful detail on that card, along with that poinsettia place, just basically because I liked the sentiment. I thought it worked really well in there, kind of added um, a little fanciness to the project because I'll show you, this is the stamp set we're gonna use on the other one. This is the other, so these two are part of, you know, I was trying to explain that earlier. Where is my, where's my catalog? Here it is. Maybe it'll make more sense now when you have everything in front of you. Here we go, yeah. So the Painted Christmas Suite that includes both the Christmas season bundle and the Christmas to remember bundle. That's actually an easier way to look at it. So we use that stamp set, and then these are the dies that those images cut out. Well, those dies cut out those images, and then they've got a bunch of labels too. So love, love, love that bundle. And then this one, great sentiments. What I was starting to say was none of these really fit into that little circle that I wanted to put on the first card. That's why I went to the other poinsettia stamp set. But then you can see all of the detail here and then the pine cones and the detail there. So for example, this die is what they used on these things right here too. So that gives you a little better idea. So gorgeous, sweet, and the beautiful bundles also. So yeah, that's the one where I was saying, couldn't really find a sentiment that I wanted to use inside that. None of them fit, basically. So I tried that Mary, and it was too small. Too, too little for that one. So, okay, there's card number one. So we'll scoot that one out of the way. I think I do need the red. And let's see, we'll scoot everything else. I don't think I need, I think I need that really espresso. The other thing I wanted to show you guys, though, before I get to the second card, is this designer series paper. It is called the Painted Christmas Designer Series Paper. So this is part of that suite as well. Let's scoot that there too. Okay, so this paper I used on the next card that I will show you in just a sec, but I wanna show you the other patterns in this pack of paper. I think you guys can see it, right? 
cabin in view. So there's front and back of those two, and then the front and back of those two. And then that one looks pretty similar to what we just created, right? With our, <coughs> excuse me, our stamping. And then there's some more front and back. So it's beautiful, very kind of traditional. But I love that soft succulent color kind of adds another hue. Isn't that pretty too, right? And then there's the paper that we're going to use on our last project that I'm going to show you right now, okay? All right. So this is the next card that we are going to make, again, featuring that designer series paper that I just showed you. So let me show you what else we've got going on here. out ladies and I'll tell you I'll give you dimensions first okay so this time we have a real red card base full sheet of cardstock this time along the 11 inch side we cut it at five and a half inches and then along the eight and a half inch side we scored it at four and a quarter inches and the card is gonna open like this okay you can see I've stamped again on the inside, so we've got that whisper white. This is generally always four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then, sip of water. Mm. My throat is just so dry. Okay, so this is our new craft cardstock. This measures three and three quarter by five inches. So you can, I don't know if you can kind of hear it. It's really thick cardstock. Um, great for those pillow, those little pillow box um, treats that you might see that people have made. I think um, they're super cute with this craft paper. And then here is our designer series paper, again, that, that's going to go right on there. This piece measures three and a half by four and three quarters, and that's going to layer right on top of there, okay? And then this time I did use the Christmas to Remember stamp set with this may this be a christmas to remember and cherish i love that sentiment and then we did use some of the stamped images from the christmas season stamp set as well okay so i need these two also the craft paper comes in six by six just so you know you get 20 sheets of six by six craft paper that's what this piece is right there from okay so this one is much more simple but you kind of still can get a little flavor for the stamping that we're going to do on it as well. Okay, so let's see. I do need my garden green. I'm trying to remember what colors. I used garden green there and there and real red and then early espresso. Okay, there. I think we have everything. So let's do it. We'll do our stamping and die cutting first. Let's stamp on the inside so I don't forget. We're going to do that right now. I'm gonna put a little scrap piece underneath here. There we go. So we've got do one there and then one there. Okay, so that's just gonna go on the inside of our card. Then we're also gonna die cut a couple of those. Stamp one there, stamp one there, and then we are also going to do our berries in real red ink this time. And I'm going to stamp this off also. I want to be a little bit lighter this time, so we're going to stamp. I'm going to stamp those there, okay? It's a little bit more of a wash look. And then lastly, we are going to stamp our sentiment in early espresso ink. Okay, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> I was thinking, where did the sentiment go? And like, I know it's going to be right in front of my face. Nice, easy, tap, 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 press straight down and lift straight up. May this be a Christmas to remember and cherish. That's a lovely sentiment too, isn't it, right? All right, we're gonna get all of our stamps out of the way. <laughs> and our ink there, so then I hopefully don't make a mess of anything. Okay, those are, that's extra. Okay, let's do our die cutting right here, and then we'll put our card together. Organizing, always organizing, right? Okay, so got our cut and emboss machine. We're gonna have to run it through two times to get 
everything. And let's see. Where did I put that one? I'll show you guys while I'm, uh-oh. I'm trying to find where that thing is now. I kind of remember that the other day that, um, I was like, where did that thing go? It was late at night when I was doing, well, we wouldn't have to fuss each other if I can't find, I know that we have. <laughs> okay, let me just look one more time because maybe it'll pop up when I'm showing you. These are all of the label and extra dies. Hold on, this is what we're gonna do. So this is one label, we're gonna put that on there. <clears throat> and then these are, that's for my berries. I'm gonna put that on there and now I'm trying to find that, but I don't think I see it. So these are some of the other label and then the other images from that stamp set. And there it is. Oh, whew. Okay, good, I found it. <laughs> and then here are this huge label and then some more of the images again. And those are all from the Christmas season stamp set. So you can see the images and then the dies and then some more dies. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, you gotta get this set of label dies, basically labels and then other imagery. And then this is what I was in my panic looking for, like, oh no, I think I have it. It was like I, um, I don't know, it got buried the other night and I thought, oh my gosh, you know how you don't really lose something but you can't find it right away. And so I kind of went back to that moment of, did I ever find that the other night? And maybe I hadn't, but okay, it's all good. So we are gonna do one more run through the big shot with this guy right here. Because I needed two sets of fronds or leaves or whatever you call these. Okay. There we go. All right, let's scoot this baby out of the way. All right, I did go long today. I kind of thought I would. Just so many things to share. Always, always, always. <clears throat> Okay, I think we're good though, ladies. <laughs> Do you think? I mean, I don't know. It's it's very questionable <laughs> whether we really are or not. We'll do those in a sec though, actually. Let's scoot this. I love my little silicone mat though, right? For these little baby pieces. Okay, here we go. Get our stuff together here, right? So we're gonna add our adhesive to, I love, this is my favorite pattern. There's just something kind of so pretty and dainty about that designer series paper, that particular pattern. I think it goes really well with the red background. I love kind of the pop, but I love that everything isn't so matchy matchy either because this ribbon they say is a cherry cobbler, but I think it, it just really works with this still. So I was happy with that. All right, so here's our, this is part of the um, class to go also this cherry cobbler. I used it, so obviously I used it right here with real red, but in the class to go, I used it with uh, Mary Merlot, and I thought that looked great as well. So then we're just going to snip that little baby right there. Okay, so very versatile ribbon, I think. Okay, next we're going to put some dimensionals behind our sentiment. And again, whenever I have ribbon, I like to, normally I would maybe only do um, a couple dimensionals, but this time I'm gonna do all four because what'll happen is the dimensionals will only go on the ribbon and then they're kind of like bouncing around, I feel like. So there, that'll help everything adhere a little bit better to the card base itself. And Philomena, yes, you're enjoying your craft paper. Also, I'm trying to find my other paper snips. And here they are. Okay, so I only want three of these berries, so I'm just gonna kinda snip that last little berry off, okay? And then we'll put a little bit of adhesive behind that one. Okay, so these things, I just kinda wanted to tuck underneath there, and then these little berries are gonna go maybe right about there. Then, these are super fun too. These are little gold holly leaves. Okay, so we are gonna use just a couple of these. I used, I think, one big and one small. So can you kind of, that's a little bit bigger one. 
and then that one is a little bit smaller. So we're gonna use one of each of these also. We got some fun little blingy gold leaves here too. So just add a little bit of adhesive there because I thought, oh, it just needs a little something else. And then I kind of couldn't stop. Then I had to go get my little red, um, my red rhinestones too there. So we're just gonna kind of put those back behind there a little bit. And then I like to even kind of fold these things up just to give a little bit more dimension there. And then lastly, we grab some of our, I'm just trying to do with my fingers or do I want my paper snips? You never know. Sometimes I can get underneath these things and I originally put one dot on or one rhinestone. I'm like, oh, that's not enough. So then I ended up with three on this also. So we'll get three little red rhinestones on here and there. And oop, we got to do the inside of our card and then I think we'll have it, ladies. But beautiful suite of products, right? Yes, the gold leaves are. Hey, Nikki, just saw your name pop up there. Thanks for hanging out with me. There we go. And there's the inside of the card. Also, okay, we did it, ladies. <laughs> Crafter math seriously has happened around here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here we go. Here we have our projects that we made today. I'm gonna grab my little sheet to remind everybody, especially if you're new and just watching for the first time. I love to make sure that our new friends know what goes on here at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. You guys, thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm loving the, the rhinestones and the, le the gold leaves are so pretty, aren't they? So if you guys are interested in getting any of the products that we use to make these projects, I am going to get everything uploaded to my blog this afternoon. I'll give you all of the names of everything, the product codes, dimensions, everything that you need to recreate these projects. Go ahead and put your online order in using the host code, the QPYJB6NZ. You will get both of these projects free as a thank you for me with a minimum $30 order. Your name is also gonna go in the drawing to win the Delicate Dahlias stamp set. Bump your order up to $50 and you get to pick from the uh, demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, or those new, I'll show you on here, those little matte um, metallic dots are our free embellishment for September. Plus, you get a celebration choice too. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys all so much for watching and hanging out with me, and I'll see you right back here two weeks from today. Bye, everybody. See you soon.